So, the cage has had its first cleaning. It's the very first one. They finally managed to poop enough. And now they're all very confused because I took away all of their smell. That's what they're wondering right now is where is all our smell? We spend so much time putting all our smell all over everything. Where is it? Well, most of it is in the hammocks because I haven't cleaned those yet. I will do that next week, I think. But none of the smell is in the bottom of the cage. I've also made a few layout changes. I've added, I've added the toilet there in the corner. They seem to prefer that corner for pooping in. So I'm going to put our toilet in there and hope that they still use it. They might not because now there's a thing there. And all of a sudden, that's not the good poop corner anymore. And they'll just poop somewhere else. But, you know, give it a shot. Here's hoping. Hi, love. And they were all very disconcerted with me uh, <laughs> with me cleaning the cage. They did not like that at all. No. So I had to... I, I in, Originally, I tried to see if I could clean the cage with them still in it. If they'd be okay with that. But no, they did, they did not like those noises. They did not like what I was doing. That was very bad. So I had to put them in a different cage. Just to kind of hold them. Until I could get done. Now, I've also, um, I've hung this blanket on the cage specifically because of that thing right there, my fan. It's summer, uh, it's getting a little hot, so I'm running my fan a lot. But even if I point it, like, towards my computer, the backwash, the draft, still comes towards the cage and, and blows into their space. And rats are really sensitive to draft. It's, it's pretty bad for them. It can give them um, infections. Uh, respiratory infections, and we do not want that because rats' respiratory systems are generally kind of weak to begin with. Uh, so I've hung the blanket there basically just to just to take the draft off. And they also like it because it's a dark, dark blanket. It makes the corners in there dark, and it makes it nice and comfortable for them to be in. Because they are... They like the dark. They don't like the light so much. <sighs> Down below, not much has changed. It's all the same uh, stuff. The same tubes and stuff, I've just rearranged where they were a little bit so that it's easier for me to, well, clean next time I have to. Hello, Sapphire, how are you doing? Is that you? No, that's Ruby. Are we doing exploration? Yeah, we're figuring out. Everything smells new. We have to pee on everything. That'll be one of the first things they do, is they, they, they just go around and pee. Because that's how they get their smell on things. Do I need this? I feel like I do. Should have a way to get up there. But where could I possibly? Okay, well, I'll figure out where to put that ledge later. Hi, lover. Hi, my love. Curious. Oh, so curious. Are you washing me? I know my hands are sweaty. Because I was wearing. Latex gloves while cleaning out your shit. Yeah, little bastards. Which makes my hands sweaty, which makes them salty. And they like to lick the salt sometimes. There we are. Now you can see. And you can see how reflective their eyes are. <laughs> like cats, but turned up. So yeah, that's what the place looks like now. And I'm just going to leave them to start pooping and peeing on stuff again so that it gets comfortable for them. Because that's what you do. Man, you've been chewing on this thing. God, it used to look so nice. And then you got to it. Then you did. Yes. Little shits. Ugh. I hope you forgive me. For all the commotion. Hi, lover. Amethyst is so good. She's so gentle. But she wants to chew on my band-aid. <laughs> they always do. Like, if, if you have a band-aid on, they'll be like, what's that? Must chew on. I don't know if it's the glue or what it is that attracts them, but they have a thing about it. Jerks. Mm. 
Hey, Sapphire. Oh, poor blind girl. It's always most, most difficult for her, because she's blind. So if I change the layout of the cage, she has to relearn it. But it gives her something to do. Hi, lover. Yes, I know. You'll figure it out. Those holes? Yeah, they chewed those too. They chew holes in everything. Careful with your paws, little one. Hmm. Water delivery surface, we like that. <sighs> but it was easy to clean. Like, when you can open up the whole front of the thing and just take everything out and scoop it up with, like, a, a pan or something. Pan. What's the, what's, the, what's the right word? One of these. Just scoop it up. Makes it real easy to clean. Unlike the old cage, which is still in my room because I haven't had the energy to carry it down three flights of stairs yet, where we only, as you may know, only had that one door on the front of each level of the cage, which made reaching around and getting everything out really difficult. This was easy, and I could even just take, like, a, a sponge and wipe up any, you know, dried poops that had gotten squashed or something, which is nice. Ah, that's gonna that's gonna be the big boon of this this configuration of cage is everything is so much easier. <laughs> Just like cleaning it, putting stuff in it, taking stuff out, getting a hold of these little assholes when I need them to go somewhere that they don't want to go. Everything is much easier. So thumbs up. G good 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 cage. You should buy one if you have rats. If you have enough rats, like we have six. And that's maybe we could probably have two or three more. But if you have like eight or nine or ten rats, then this is a good cage for that. <laughs> this is, you can get smaller versions of the same design, but, you know. Rat cage reviews with TV's Guide.